So, what can I review? There's so much copyrighted stuff that... Uh, oh. Oh, I forgot about these. How could you notice them when they're tucked away at the back? Oh, I'll have a look at these. Oh, look at all of this. Sure some of this has some potential. Let's take a look. Santa who? Now, I don't remember watching this one very much. Or oh, because it's a holiday movie. I'm supposed to watch it once a year, aren't I? Let's see, I think it might be worth reviewing. No one ever talks about it, and... Uh... Oh. The disc is heavily scratched. Dunno, it's not viewable. It... Wait, there's another disc in here. Oh, it's just a step to and Son episode. I don't know why, but I used to have this thing where I put two discs in one box instead of just one. Don't know what's wrong with me, it increases the chance of the discs getting scratched. Oh, Santa Claus the movie. I really enjoyed this one. I would review it, but the Nostalgia Critic already did it about five years ago, so... No, I don't think so. Oh, fuck me. Now I'm just going to get a lot of comments down below saying, Do more Thomas, do more Thomas. No. I don't have to listen to you all the time. I don't have to listen to your whiny requests. I do whatever the hell I like. It's my channel. I do what I want. So, this one features two episodes from the Jack and the Pack series, and three music videos. Five new engines in the shed, the red balloon, and troublesome trucks. Not a bad package. Oh, there's another disc in here, of course. It's a documentary DVD about the Flying Scotsman. I used to have a lot of these, um, steam engine documentary type DVDs. Don't know why. Oh, no. I have a Chuggington DVD? Yeah, if you thought the bouncing in season 21 of Thomas and Friends is bad enough, then you haven't seen this. I'm not gonna review the show because... Just because. So this one just has one episode of the early seasons of the show. The Chugger Championships. Don't quite remember that one. Glad I forgot most about the show because it's trying to cash grab on Thomas' success, but fails. Oh, this is an audio CD. Yeah, look. Big Finish. It's an audio CD. Don't know why I had audio CDs in a DVD collection. So it's a Peter Davidson Doctor Who story. Okay. Yeah, it's just got the audio disc in this one. Now oh, I've got CD-ROM games in here as well. Yeah. Yeah, was I really too stupid to assume that discs in general meant DVDs? Well, to be fair, I could- I can play CDs on my, um, Xbox 360 or a regular DVD player. But not CD-ROM games, so why do I have this in here? Anyway, Robots is pretty decent of a movie. I don't have The Incredibles on DVD, but I have this, um... Is this, um... Yeah, it's, uh, CD-ROM stuff. Yeah, I've just got the disc in here. Now that's what I call music. 
Britney Spears as Club 7, Gabrielle, Kylie Minogue. Yeah, this was during a nostalgic part of pop music for me. The 2000s. I don't know about any of you, you may think most of the music in that decade was horrible, but it's all nostalgic to me. Oh, this one is really special. This was a custom CD my sister had made before she passed away. Yeah, this was over 10 years ago she made this. She passed away 10 years ago, and um, she heard me singing along to certain songs in the car, and um, yeah, it's her handwriting. We've got The Hoosiers, Leona Lewis, Sugar Babes, James Blunt, Gwen Stefani, Lily Allen, Rihanna, Pussycat Dolls, take that. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep this, for memory's sake. Oh, there's the last one here. Super Mario Galaxy 2, a tutorial DVD. Oh wait, Super Mario Galaxy 2 for beginners. Hmm, wouldn't you know, it's another Steam Engine documentary DVD. Hey. Oh, this one. Rudolph and the Island of Misfit Toys. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna review this one. Yeah, it's December, it's Christmassy, and uh, I've got a Christmas DVD right here. So, um, yeah, I think this has plenty of potential for a video, so... Yeah, why don't I do this one? <laughs> Keep in mind, this rewatch is going to be through the eyes of someone who has never watched the Rankin Bass specials in his entire life. So no, that means I had never watched the original Rudolph special. I've only ever watched Thomas, Pingu, The Snowman, The Tweenies, Doctor Who, Bob the Builder, and, you know, other movies that were shown in Britain every year, and... <sighs> So jump up on my sleigh, and we're all on our way to another bloomy Christmas. Okay, since I'm predicting that you lot are going to make a lot of angry comments from what I've said just now, I have now finished watching the original Rankin Bass special, because this is apparently a sequel to said special, which I've seen no one else talk about. Until now. Oh yeah, and I got this DVD free from a newspaper years ago, but I don't think that's important. I'm sorry, is this Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, or is it a Toy Story ripoff? And I know the toys were alive in the original, but I didn't know that as a kid. Catchy tune, huh? All I can hear is the background music and nothing else. And it's not even catchy, it's just generic. And that's the scoundrel behind the secret serenade. Mr. Heebie-Jeebies himself, otherwise known as the Toy Taker. Without the hypnotation flute, I wouldn't trust this guy. You know, if I were... Get the company that replaced Toys R Us out of my sight! <laughs> All these children must be very heavy sleepers if they can't hear the vacuum sucking up all the toys, or the toy taker laughing, or the engines from this blimp. <laughs> I'm not sure if they count as toys. 
Now, you didn't think Rudolph's story ended that foggy Christmas Eve, did you? Well, looks like the snowman narrator had quite the makeover, didn't he? Name's Scoop T. Snowman, ace reporter for the Christmas Town Chronicle. Okay, that's because he isn't the original snowman narrator. Wonder what happened to him? Did they really have to replace him with this generic looking snowman? I've got a nose for news. Ain't it a beaut? Big hit at barbecues, too. Do they have barbecues here in the North Pole? Wouldn't it be too cold for anything to cook? It all started at the Christmas parade. You know, the original narrator just told the story through voiceover. He never actually interacted with the surroundings in the story. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen Comet and Cupid and Donna and Blitzen. Since this is a sequel to the original, I'm surprised Comet and Donna are still numbers 5 and 7 in the song. I know they can't really change it, but still. And all the reindeer, except for Comet, look exactly the same, so I couldn't even tell which one of them was Donna. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Now, let's see if I recognize any of the voice actors, shall we? Nope, never heard of him. I've definitely heard of her, but I don't know what else she starred in. Again, I've heard of him, but I don't know what he was in. Nope. No, no, yes, no, 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 and definite yes. Just from the opening credits, I already know this isn't going to be as good as the original. And that's just from watching the original once. Well, that was necessary to show. I know it was supposed to show us how useful Rudolph's nose is, but would anything have changed if the power didn't go out? <music> Call me a pervert all you want, but to me, this looks like the reindeer equivalent of having a boner. This song is quite different than the ones from the original. Those ones had a 60s type of style that was in every kid's movie back then. But this one have a few that are similar to ones Gabrielle or someone would make. Uh, Mr. Rudolph, sir? M may I have your autograph? Wait, I just realized, how come Rudolph isn't an adult in this movie? By the end of the original, when Santa says, Rudolph with your nose so bright. Won't you guide my sleigh tonight? He has grown into an adult, but in this movie, he seems to have reverted back to being a kid reindeer. I don't get it. The people who worked on this movie had clearly been doing their homework. Most of the voices are close to the originals. The designs are exactly the same. Most of the characters were transferred pretty good. They remember everything that has happened in the original. And even some lines from the original were reused here. But the only thing they had forgot was Rudolph as an adult. Good grief! Bad bum, bad. Wow, this was released on the same year Monsters Inc. was released. I can't watch characters like this one in these old CG movies without thinking about Sully. I know this movie clearly had a much lower budget than that movie, but still. King Moon Racer's got a royal toothache. Can you come to the island of misfit toys? Of course this kite is killing its very own gimmick by being able to fly without any wind. Behold, the wonders of the Toothmobile. My all-terrain mobile dental facility. Ah, 
This would explain why this machine wasn't in the original, when they really would have needed it. Hermie must have gotten this after the elves had let him become a dentist. <laughs> I know this had a very small budget, but in-game PS1 cutscenes have more momentum, effects, and impact than this. The awful truth? I'm afraid of heights. Ain't it tragic? <sighs> yeah, just as tragic as a scuba diver who's afraid of the ocean, or a sewer cleaner who's also a germaphobe. I'm still a misfit. But you're a celebrity. So what? I'd give anything for a normal nose. Wait, you saved Christmas with the thing that originally made you look like a freak? I repeat, saved Christmas, and now you still wish you had a normal nose? I know, he doesn't want to be so popular anymore, but... You saved Christmas, and every single other Christmas to come. We're really remarkably plummy, yes plummy. Not glummy, oh chummy. We're perfectly fine. Okay, that's enough of that song, I guess. Um, onward to the island. I never made a big deal out of your nose, did I? So who cares what other people think? We are who we are, right? Oh, I guess. Is it me, or is Hermie talking about the situation as if everyone still thinks Rudolph is a freak because of his nose? Um... <coughs> Don't be frightened by all the noise on the island of misfit toys. Oh, the island of misfit toys. Toys. Yeah, another obvious element about this movie, the songs were much better in the original than in here. They had catchier tunes and more creative lyrics for one thing. Actually, the song we heard in the opening credits is the only song from the original that they play in this movie. I know, that song is in every Rudolph movie, but still, it's there. And in this movie, we instead get... The Island of Misfit Toys, 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 Toys. We're on the Island of Misfit Toys, 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 Toys. That. Hello? 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 Oh, nobody. Isn't that usually the case with most toy phones? I'm Peggy, the piggy bank. Only thing is, they forgot to give me a slot. Is it really that hard to just cut a coin slot on her back? I'm the boomerang. It doesn't come back! <laughs> well, see ya. I sure hope you can swim. The pain. The pain. Right this way, your majesty. If there were hardly any dentists in the North Pole, then it sure is a lucky thing no elves or pega, lion, whatever these are called, kings haven't lost all their teeth if they did have problems with them. Oh my. Hmm. That hurt. Uh-uh. That? Uh-uh. How about... <laughs> A little bit more of an overreaction, and he would have bit you in half for sure. You need a root canal. Don't worry, sire. This won't hurt a bit. And I thought injections were the worst things you'll experience at the doctors. Or the dentists. Alert me at the first sign of trouble, boys. It's good to know that you have guards on the outside of the warehouse, but you didn't think to have soldiers guarding the inside as well? What if the toy taker found or made a secret entry into the warehouse when they aren't looking? Oh, wait. I kinda hate to miss my date with Clarice. That doe certainly has you head over hooves, doesn't she? Who told you? Everyone in Christmas Town knows. They do? It's been established since the first movie, after all. It was graduation day at the Elf Academy of Dental Arts. Wait, how long has this been around? Not a lot of people know that much about dentistry in the North Pole, except for Hermie. And whoever made this book. <laughs> got 
a crush on the Tooth Fairy? Oh, so he traveled to where the Tooth Fairy lives and studied dentistry over there, right. Then it hit. The North Pole unfurled its fiercest frozen fury. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, but the Snow Queen is in a different Rudolph movie. <laughs> Well, it sure is a lucky thing Rudolph knows how to swim to the surface of freezing deadly water. How did the Toothmobile sink underneath the waves and then appear above the waves moments later without so much as a broken window? Or is the thing made of hollow plastic? Welcome to Castaway Cove. Castaway Cove. Do people end up shipwrecked here often? Hence the name. Oh! Who goes there? You're not toys. Gingerbread soldiers? Sure, why not? And isn't all of the snow and rain making you fall to bits? Like when you dip a cookie into milk or tea or something, it makes it easier to fall apart. And gingerbread isn't any different. <laughs> Fantasia is that way. You come to steal Camilla's fabulous toys! Confess us? Why would we- Silence! Guards! Throw them in the dungeon for 300 years. Me? Huh? Hey, but he's a dentist! And, and he's a beloved holiday icon! Is she really so blind as to not notice the weird, obvious red nose? Even when it's not glowing, it still sticks out like a sore thumb. Literally, since sore thumbs are usually red. <laughs> What's it, boys? He's got a toothbrush, and I know how to use it. E catch! He's going to whack us with it. Brush crumbs off of us. Show us how to brush the right way. Send in the troops. Let go! It's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer! No dear shit, it's Rudolph. Again, the red nose is kinda hard to miss. Sorry for all that rough stuff, darling. We thought you were the toy taker. Us? The toy taker? I don't understand the way you think. Hey boys, bring me your dollies. Hey boys, bring them to me. Hey boys, it'll be jolly. I can fix them with my TLC. Uh. I never would have expected this type of song in a kid's Christmas movie, but... okay. The only problem is what to do with all those toys after Camilla makes them so beautiful and fabulous. As far as I'm aware, Santa's workshop isn't that far away from here. Don't you have any way of contacting him? Maybe a telephone or write letters to him? Letters especially. What is your fondest desire, darlings? Well, um, he wants a normal nose. Wanted a normal nose. You can give me a normal nose? You kidding me, Sugar Plum? Nobody knows noses like Queen Camilla. Before... After. Um, there's a difference between toy repair and... surgery. Rudolph clearly isn't a toy. He's a living animal. Well, actually, the awful CG would have fooled me. But what if it's another foggy Christmas Eve? Santa can't afford headlights, darling? Not when there's eight other reindeer in front of his sleigh. And by morning, Queen Camilla's staff repaired the Toothmobile better than new. Yeah, of course they know how to fix this machine that they've never seen before. These Toothmobiles must be as common as ambulances or fire engines. Hey, whoa! Why do I have this feeling that this might result in her accidentally breaking her leg? I'm so ordinary, and you're so famous. I won't be so famous after I get my nose fixed, then I'll be normal, like everyone else. But Rudolph, I love your nose, and everything about you. You do?
Um, yeah. Didn't she say that she liked your nose in the first movie? Really? He loves me! He loves me! Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer loves me! Oh? <laughs> Larice! Wow, he just gave her the motivation that made him fly the last time. Interesting. I was up late reading last night, and I saw, well, it looked like a giant flying football. Um, is that some foreign writing, or did they just press random keys on the keyboard? I guess it would be less offensive if they just did the latter. I'm a dentist now. Dentist mattress! You no account rebel! You left my staff one elf short! And you couldn't find someone else to fill in for Hermie? I mean, anyone? One of these days, you'll need a dentist, and I'm the only one around. I wouldn't let you touch my chompers with a ten-foot pole, you, you tooth maniac! Did you forget the person who removed the teeth of the abominable snowman? If it weren't for him, the reindeer wouldn't have made out alive and Christmas would have been cancelled. Oh, it's stuffing all right. You know, I don't really get that in cartoons. How does tasting it make it easier to find out what it is? Out of business? What happened? There's not a peck of pepper or morsel of mint left in that stinky old peppermint mine. Me and Bumble mined it clean. <laughs> that didn't say <take> long. <laughs> mush! Come on, mush! <laughs> No, brother. Of course Cornelius can't use his whip, because that would be too 20th century. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Dr. Claw's hidden base... I used to live on the island of misfit toys until Santa found me a home of my own. That was the happiest day of my life. Not if you were from the original version of the special, from what I've heard. So, would this movie not exist if Rankin Bass didn't decide to put in that extra scene? Wait a minute! I read about you in the papers! Okay, toys can read newspapers when no one else is looking. They might flatter you on Christmas Day, but sooner or later they will grow away, and they'll leave you behind when they go out to play. No, they won't take you. They won't. Take you. I can see where the toy taker is coming from, kids abandoning their toys once they've grown out of them, but can't he just take the toys of kids who have grown out of them, not just toys from every single child in the world? If he wants toys to be beloved by kids, then he wouldn't steal them from every single kid, right? Oh, that toy taker took all my beautiful toys! Even with all those gingerbread guards around the place? <laughs> okay, I've watched the first movie about two hours ago, and the abominable snowman looked dead scary in that version, due to his scary roar, the sharp teeth he started off with, and the sloppy way he was animated. That would have petrified me if I saw this as a kid. <laughs> But now that I see the same exact character in a giant bunny outfit and laughing like Big the Cat, he just looks so... not scary. <laughs> yeah, that would have popped due to Cornelius' cleats. <laughs> Oh wait, it just took a while for them to be sharp enough. Cornelius, no! Are they really doing a fake death moment with Cornelius again? <laughs> yep, they've either referenced or redid everything from the original special. Why not that bit? <laughs> Yeah, 
The Toy Taker knew something would go wrong, so much so that he would have to jump off of his blimp. What else was he going to use a parachute for? <laughs> You're going to be seeing this face in your nightmares, kids. Both versions of them. Looks like you won't have a silent night this year. <laughs> oh, you like roller coasters? Love them. <laughs> Are you sure we haven't cut to the DVD game by mistake? <laughs> Why don't we just add attempted murder or serious injury to his list of crimes? Surrender, Toy Taker. I don't know the meaning of the word. It means you give up. He knew what the word means. He was just refusing to surrender. Let's see who he really is. Great. <laughs> huh? ah. Old, Old stuff, stuff, teddy bear. bear. And I would have gotten away with it too, if it weren't for you meddling... creatures? Yeah, I'll go with that. Steven was growing up day after day, and he didn't have time for his friend. I moved from the bed, to a chair, to a closet, and I knew it must be the end. So, in other words, your backstory is the same as Jesse's from Toy Story 2, except you were trying to take revenge on every kid in the world by stealing all their toys, and not by trying to find Steve again, or finding someone else to fix you, or anything you wouldn't get arrested for if you were human? Mr. Cuddles, while it's true that many children outgrow their toys, I happen to know that your boy's been looking for you. He has? Really? Yeah, during adulthood, they have this feeling to them that feels strange but familiar at the same time. It's called nostalgia. Whether it's from videos, games, and even toys, some adults will go back to them and relive their memories. Like I'm doing now. Silver and gold? Gold and silver? Why, there's silver and gold in our peppermint mine! Oh, look at that. They've eventually found the thing Cornelius was mining for in the first movie. <laughs> Took you a while. Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? I think... maybe... I'll just stick with the nose I have. Oh, now he remembers the events of the first movie? <laughs> he loves the dentures, dentist. Oh, great. He can finally eat flesh and bones again. Ready for our date, sugar? Yeah, the Tooth Fairy has the night off for his date, apparently, during the season where kids eat tons of sweets. Also, wouldn't sugar be a curse word for her? Just a thought. <laughs> oh wait, it might be a curse word for Hermie, because he knows sugar can cause cavities. <laughs> Steven never meant to throw you away. He was saving you as a family heirloom. Well, he certainly has a scary way of showing it, and he didn't just straight up say it to Mr. Cuddles. This is the happiest day of my life. Well, this girl has quite a strange childhood ahead of her. When I was a baby, I received a teddy bear for Christmas, and I swear to God, I'm not lying about this, he was alive. He said that it was the best day in his entire life. It smiled at me and gave me a warm, soft hug. It really was the best Christmas ever. We don't believe you. <laughs> Yeah, 
even though I watched it in full for the first time just two hours ago, I think the original... I told you, sooner or later, everyone needs to see their dentist. Open wide now. This won't hurt a bit. Well, I lied. This is for all the times you kept snapping at me for being different, you prejudiced jerk. Yeah, even though I watched it in full for the first time just two hours ago, I think the original Rankin Bass special was better. Better pacing, better story, even better animation. Yeah, the stop motion looks crappy and dated by today's standards, but at least it shows that there was some effort put into it, unlike the CG animation in this movie. Anyways, I don't know if January will be the end of my YouTube life, but whatever happens, uh, I didn't know how I was going to finish that sentence. Um, uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Ew. And to all a good night. <laughs> uh. Oh, I'm doomed, aren't I? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Had a very shiny nose And if you ever saw it You would even say it glows All of the other reindeer Used to laugh and call him names They never let poor Rudolph Join in any reindeer game 